All right, it's October, of course, October 2nd. And so, of course, we've only got about 29 more days until Halloween, a time for costumes, sweet treats, and some scares. Our Trent Croce spoke to one local horror fan who's hoping to spread the fear all year long through his new haunted attraction. Driving through downtown Monroe, many businesses are gearing up for the spooky season. But Nate Thompson's is preparing to be much more than a little spooky. Proud to announce this, you know, this is Michigan's uh, first two-story year-round, uh, you know, annual year-round Halloween attraction, horror attraction. Thompson is a filmmaker with a background in horror, which he says will help his small business truly be a unique experience. You know, you know, the craziest stuff they've ever seen before, you know, be really shock and awe value. But I want them to feel comfortable with it, you know what I mean? I want it to feel like, all right, this is my vibe. Yes, get to see his crazy stuff up close and personal. Instead of only on the big screen, many of Thompson's items came from his partners, donations, and online. But beware, everything is not a prop. So uh, we're going to have real skulls, real human bones, um, animal bones. We're going to have embalming fluid, different funeral exhibits, museums. It's a cream chart. Use this color or this color or that color for the eyeshadow. Down below, you can see it contains a few different chemicals that uh, basically, you know, the body would have been treated with after it died. Scissors, probably have tissue material. Old hand pump, so you can kind of see blood staining still on some of them. He says there will be a few other less scary exhibits like a tarot reading room. But for the most part, it's thrills and chills with a possible catacomb exhibit and a red room with real life crime scene photos. And it's not for the faint of heart. You know, warning 18 plus only. Thompson hopes to bring in tons of horror genre fans like him and his employees. I think the, the overall downtown uh, population is going to see a significant increase in business and then also tax revenue. While the museum welcomes guests of all ages, Thompson does have a disclaimer. I am not personally responsible for any nightmares that you have, unless they're cool nightmares. In Monroe, Michigan, Trent Croce, WTOL 11. Spooky. And Thompson also hopes to have his museum open by mid-October, so well before Halloween. Admission for adults is going to be $10. Kids 5 and up only cost $6. And, of course, everybody under that, you're free.